Hello everyone, welcome to our Let's Play series of Darkest Dungeon. This is Colonel RPG as usual, and I'm very happy that you chose to join me today as we go into a battle with... Ah, just these guys. Great. <laughs> Don't mistake my... Uh, whatever that was, uh, for not thinking this is fantastic, because... Uh, I was ready to fight the terribleness that would have been... What? What? Oh, you're guarding him. Okay, I don't really care for the Karen Eater because these guys can level up, apparently. And also you can protect him from this, so screw you. Um, and then you can not protect him how much... Okay, that's gonna kill the Karen Eater, and he might kill you if I crit. 74% chance to hit that guy, though. Okay, yeah, that's not going too well. Uh, let's see if I can get... Uh, I need so many kills. Let's see if I can get you down. Oh, come on, dodge. Yeah, I was, I was getting ready for, um... Yeah, he already has the thirst. That's gonna heal him, though. Wait a minute, that, that happens to them all? Look at them. Look at how he grows. Look, look at the difference. He get... They're just feeding us, on us right now, and they're getting crit heals. Lovely. Well, it's a good thing, actually, because this... And I think I'm gonna be able to kill you, hopefully. Yep. It should explode in blood, because that's one of the most satisfying things I feel. Uh, well, no, I that came out wrong. Uh, what I mean is, I feel that one of the most satisfying things about killing a blood-sucking bug that has been trying to annoy you forever is the squish of the blood. That's yours, most likely. It, well, it's actually the a bug's blood. victory. Uh, I don't think we need this. I think he's gonna warn me when he needs to drink. Because, I, I, I don't know, I've heard people talk about this uh, DLC in ways that make me think, yeah, yeah, I think he's going to warn me. But yeah, he's a vampire, Reynold, he's got the Crimson Curse. Okay, so I th this thing is na nasty, so let's try an Anti-Venom. Okay, that doesn't work. Uh, so don't touch that. Don't touch no nonsense here. That's usually the best course of action, but there are some things that actually uh, really are not good. Uh, hi... I think she's gonna, like, if I do anti-venom, and no effect, okay, I think, no, screw her, she's nasty, actually, he's a vampire, so, yeah, see, no reaction, you pilfer, oh, oh, we got one of these, nice, okay, we're gonna be able to burden that thing for stress relief, not that we really need it, what we really need is, oh my god, he's just taking stress, well, they're all taking stress, that's just normal, what we really need is to survive this Battle. A hideous mutation. Don't sound so scared. And abhorrent. Seriously, don't sound so scared. You sound like a like a scared person. Okay, so I'm gonna try. Oh my god, the blights would have been so good, but the problem is is really blight resistance. That's only like a three percent chance to. So it's really nasty. And I'm not gonna be able to hit you. I don't uh, this is Okay, the the plant dodges, but he doesn't. He goes once. Um and uh, we are gonna hope for crits, basically 11, 18 percent. <clears throat> it's right there. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay, lurking fear. Okay, that means he's com he comes forward. Uh, and that means I can't really attack with you. I'm not really sure how this is gonna go though. But I know I can attack him. I'm gonna need. I'm gonna need to spam my my uh, blights. Teeth rake. Okay, what does that do? Brings her forward. That's not too bad. If he stays at the back. And now she's bleeding for a lot. Uh, I can't do this, but I can't do this. A dodge. Okay. Oh, because he's very dodgy, right? Okay, teeth rake for Reynolds. It's 10 points of damage. And now he's bleeding. Which probably is terrible. Uh, I can heal. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna need this. Do we have bandages? No. The. Uh. I'm gonna need this. This is too dangerous. Okay, yeah, just... You can't... Yeah, you... Uh, I don't know what to do here. Party heal, yeah, go for it. Oh my god, this is a really, really bad... Bad encounter. Because we can't move these things, because they have the immense amount of dodge. So all I can do is just keep... Bravely staying in one place. At least we have a lot of healing things, but... And we have a... a, a Okay. It's still not in the right spot. Um, okay, at least I can attack you now. 
let's go for it. Yeah, but I'm, he, she's just gonna need to keep healing. You can't do anything here. You can't attack. Zero percent chance to hit. Okay, you're gonna need to move. Yeah, move back there. Submerge. Okay. Okay, now he get, and he's healing. Oh, come on! We can do this, but what the hell? What is wrong with the world? Unless Apex Predator for Duhamel. Okay, so he's at the front. Uh, okay, so now I can do something here. Uh, let's see, two to one, two to two. Okay, you're gonna need to heal him. Uh, and now we can do something. We can make him bleed. Hopefully, you shut up. You shut up, and just heal everybody with a critical as well. Very nice. Very nice. Of course, he's gonna move. Lurking fear. Okay, he moves back once. That's still okay. And he's got extra protection. Okay, that doesn't matter. I think. Uh, 90% chance to hit. Probably like 60% chance to bleed. He's bleeding. Okay. Uh, and then you attack him. 6 to 11. I did minimum damage because of course I do. Ah, I got another bleed. Come on. Get them in there. Get them in there. And of course he's reducing his bleed resistance. Uh, Lockin is taking damage over here. That's fine. And she doesn't bleed, surprisingly enough. She resists the move as well, which is very nice. Um, and I'm gonna try... What does that do? Uh, okay, get me something here. It's very unlikely. 30% chance that I actually make him blighted. Yeah, there it is. Okay, so he's taking... He's, he's not really taking too much... Too much... Oh, he heals. Yeah, he's not taking too much bleed damage. Ooh, nice crit. Right on the one that you actually needed it for. Okay, now if I hit you, 45%. Ah, there we go. Okay, so he comes back up. No, he doesn't. He doesn't. I, I was mistaken. Uh, 55. Ooh, that's really lucky. That's really lucky. He's getting debuffs as well because of the blood resist. Apex, Bre Apex Predator with a critical. She doesn't bleed. She's not at death's door, surprisingly enough. Okay, you keep going at him. Just make him suffer. Okay, yeah, very unlikely that I, that I land. Lurking Fear again. That's going to be a heal. It's very unlikely that I... Yeah, you keep going and do that. Momentary abatement. That I can blight him, but I really am gonna try. And it's good that he's at the front. And we're kind of working him. I, I think we got really lucky with those two very low hit to hit chances uh, hits. Uh, submerge. Okay, so that's gonna heal. That's the one that heals, right? Okay, he gets the buff and gets 12 heal, 12 health. Okay, uh, 55. Go for it. Uh, there we go. Okay, yeah. Apex predator for Lockino. You know? So she's at death's door. That's fine. A hand's breadth I thought, well, I say that. Wound. Okay, as long as she doesn't stress out too much and becomes masochistic, we'll be fine. Always do doing so little damage. That was a 6 to 11 and a del 7. Another teeth rake for Lockino. You know? She's at death's door without a bleed, edge. like a pro. Okay, I'm, you're ready for the light, but you're gonna wait. Please don't. Thank you. Everything is going well. Okay, uh, 90%, 4 to 8, I deal 5. Yeah, I'm, I'm unlucky. He resists the bleed as well. I'm unlucky with the damage thresholds. It's good that he's at the front. I think this battle is meant to be... Okay, that was a dodge. My god. That was nasty. Okay, I'm gonna try and heal you. And then she goes with this. Oh, she can't. Oh, that was my bad then. Um... Because she needs to be at the back. I think this battle is meant to be the beginning really hard. And then when he's at the front, you need to tank him. Let's see, 90%. Please bleed. He doesn't. Okay. Teeth rake for Duhamel. She bleeds. That's fine. Okay, she's brought forward. That's actually pretty decent. I can't do that, but that's okay. 80% uh, chance to hit. Minimum damage again. See, I'm, I'm being really unlucky with that. Okay, so she can't do that, but she can do this. Uh, 90% chance to hit with a critical, very nice. And a blight! We got a blight! Okay, that's an immense amount of, uh, of damage. That's immense amount of damage. That is really, really, really handy. Uh, I'm gonna need to look at you, uh, cause you can't attack from the back. You got the pistol, but you're gonna need to, you're gonna need to move away. Cause otherwise he's not gonna do the bleed and I do need the bleed, okay. So, oh! Swarming corruption! What is that? And now, the true test. Shh! Hold oh no, fast. it is. It is. Yeah, she's powerful. Oh yeah. Okay, that's what I'm talking about right there, baby. 
That's what I am talking about. Okay, so as long as he doesn't kill her, because that is a possibility right now. Submerge. Oh, he's going forward, I think. No, he's staying where he is. Okay. So that kind of... That's okay. That's okay. Should I do this? I shouldn't. I should do this one. 30% she has to hit, though. Yeah, I'm not gonna the do that. Of war she does heal, even if she misses, though. My vision clears, she says. Hidden. Yeah, well, hers doesn't. Uh, 55. That's a dodge. That's fine, because that wasn't gonna make... Well, this one needs to hit. Ah, oh, come on. 45%. Of course, he's gonna, like, do something terrible. 55. Okay. Does he bleed? He does? Okay. So he's taking 6 damage per turn. Apex Predator for 2 Hamel. 11. She's still not dead, but she's bleeding now. The okay. Precipice of oblivion. Uh, that's really bad, actually. Oh, she's not bleeding. Somehow. Uh, go for it. Make him ble blight. Yes, we got another one. Please don't attack her. Okay, that teeth rat. rat that's fine. No, actually, it's not. If she bleeds, Teetering on the she brink, doesn't. I'm ready, light. Abyss. Okay, yeah. I think... Oh, four damage. Four damage. Okay. We got it! Oh, proper battle over here. This is nothing like any other boss. I mean, you need to be ready, but damn. This is really, really weird. Come on. This is a really weird battle. I like this it. I like it. I like it. But just promises success. Uh, uh, I'm going to take that. It's just the thing is. Oh, there's no connection over there. The thing is, if you bring a, a team that can attack at the back, um, you're, you're gonna be screwed when you come to the front, so you need to be, be very versatile on this battle in particular. Uh, so I think that's that's the, the lesson there that we need to learn is, well, that I need to learn. If you guys know how to do this one, yeah, do tell me if you have another different strategy for, for this thing, but it's just a really tricky thing. And I don't even know if we're gonna find another boss right ahead or something. For all I know, we might. Whoa! That was a dodge, though. Nice. Okay, what do we have? Is that our destination? It is our destination! And it is the end of this terrible place. Be no, that's not how you do it. That's how we do it. Ah. Man. I'm gonna continue adventuring just to see. We could go back there, but it's just for stress relief. We did it! In those younger years, my home was a hive of unbridled hedonism. A roiling apiary, where instinct and impulse were indulged with wild abandon. A bewitching predator slipped in amidst the swarm of tittering sycophants. Though outwardly urbane, I could sense in her a mocking thirst. Driven half mad by cloying vulgarity, I plotted to rid myself of this lurking threat in a grand display of sadistic sport. But as the moment of murder drew nigh, the gibbous moon revealed her inhuman desires in all their stultifying hideousness. Well, her face was ugly. Did she change her cleavage as well? There's a lot of... Well, how did he put it? Uh, oh, man. In the Inter Cinematic, he, sa he says... Th there's a line in the Inter Cinematic that I really find interesting. Um, because it's telling of, of, of what he's trying to, to, to portray. Let's see. Obsessed with Paranormal. That's fine. God fearing. Uh, the only pray for stress relief. That's not really that good. Uh, plus 15% stress versus unholy. And also minus accuracy versus unholy. I need to fix that. Uh, I need to fix many things about Reynold. Oh, man. These swarming beans carry a pernicious plague. A sickness so virulent, so insidious. It is more a curse than a mere disease. Yeah, but they're gone. The hamlet has been restored to a livable level of degeneracy once more. The dispersal of this pestilence to the, to the surrounding environs, uh, however, seems inevitable. Yeah, well, you know, it's, uh, it's how it goes. Uh, I think I saw something... No, that's not... Yeah, there's two things now. Quirk removed. Yeah, fragile. Okay, so let's see. Sanitarium over here. Ooh. Warning. Current contagion level in the facility. None. I didn't know that. I really did not know that. Okay, let's remove all the trinkets. Uh, and then Reynold really, really needs to remove that terrible one. Uh, 
Contagion. Cursed heroes who share the same building or activity as other heroes have a chance to pass the Crimson Curse on. Sharing the activity has the highest chance of Contagion. Which means... What does that... Ha what? What happens? Th can I not use this for him? Because he's Contagion... Contagion-anated? I can do all these? I can do both? That's pretty decent. I, I, I'm gonna lock that up. That's just a flat-out damage increase. Like, pretty much every time. So I'm gonna go with that, yeah. It's very expensive, though. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get a... Curious methodologies and apparatus can calm even the most tormented soul. Yeah, but not the vampires, though. Not the vampires. So Warrior of Light, yeah, I'm gonna get a little bit of a discount. My god, the money just dis disappears. Restrain me not, he says. Well, it's still a nun. I don't really understand what that means. Uh, there's a lot of things. Just as I feared. Now loosed from their brackish what? prison, what they will spread like locusts across our land. Oh boy! The Baron invites you to join his twisted games. Curse carrying insects have begun to spread over the estate. What? What? Oh, that's gonna be. Smart. Oh boy. Okay. Well, let's focus on this. We're, gonna, we're just gonna need. Oh my God. This is a crazy thing. <laughs> okay. So he's God fearing, which is kind of problematic because I need to uh, uh, fix the transept. Get a little bit of discount. And dogmatic rituals. For yeah. some, a tonic against the bloodshed. Okay. So we're bringing uh, Lockino as well. What I'm gonna try to do is I'm gonna try to get level three heroes as soon as possible because of the. Terrible things that happen, but the thing I think the thing is I think this is a, a, a race against time or something. I don't really know. But I don't. I have no idea. This is all a blind thing. Um, anyway, we have a uh, level three. Yeah, well, level three over there. We have done. Yeah, level one. We could do the boss over here. That'd be an interesting one. Uh, we haven't been to the world yet, but the thing is, it's just a short adventure, and I need the longest ones forever, ever and always. So I'm gonna get Lockino back here. Uh, yeah, she's good. And then I'm gonna have Duhamel. Yeah, she also needs a little bit. Yeah, basically the same team. Uh, and let's sort this by level so I can focus on the guys and girls that are at the front or uh, in terms of level upgrades and all that sort of stuff. So you're pretty good to go. Uh, I need a frontliner. Zen! Our new crusader. Speaking of which, I need to see if I can upgrade my roster. Uh, he's, is he good? Well, he's, yeah, he is pretty good. I would like the Holy Lance, but I think we can survive this thing. Let's see, stage couch. I just probably, yeah, I don't have any of this. Oh my god. Oh boy. Uh, I think it's gonna be interesting. It's gonna be interesting. I, I think I'm gonna be fine here. Let's see, how do we have, okay. You, uh, uppercut, mark of death. That's not really necessary for him because the, the problem that with the mark of death is that it's only useful sometimes. You got to finish him. That, is, that one I like. Uh, sp that one I like, especially with Duahamel over here and Caltrops. So I'm gonna go with finish him, and I'm just gonna get that and get that, of course, uh, and get that one as well. Uh, come hither. That's a pool that doesn't do very much damage, but it can be really handy. And then this one knocks the enemies back, which again can be pretty good. Which one do I like the best? Come hither, because it's more usable. That's basically how they balance the the skills and all that just where would why would you use it okay is it not very powerful make it usable in more things uh and then you are yeah that's why my money is gone because this thing costs so much i can't upgrade it more can i no of course not uh then i am yeah i'm gonna go with the holy hand holy lance i don't think i need healers for this run the thing about the uh, oh did i no i didn't there we go the thing about the um the Crusader, or my Crusader anyway, is that it can be really good if I need a very fixed party. I can do that, but I usually don't like doing it. It's just, I, it's not really in my, uh, it's not really my habit, basically. Uh, maximum, H, maximum HP, I need extra speed for the guys at the back, basically, uh, for her in particular. Uh, and then uh, scouting and uh, minus speed, that's, oh, yeah, let's just get those. Uh, no, actually, wait a minute, trap his arm. You need to get that one. So you get the plus speed. Do you have, have a plus speed over here or something? The plus dodge, bleed skills. 
And I don't have anything that plus stuns, because those are nice. Uh, and extra protection for you. There we go. Oh, also the... Oh, this one. Uh, okay, so you could get... You could get extra protection. There we go. And then you have this Crusader-only thing that adds to healing skills and to stress healed. I will forget them. Regret is sin, says the game. Why? Why is regret sin? But this shouldn't it be like sin is regret, because not like if you sin, you then regret. That's that's how I see things anyway. Anyway, we're going on to a long 100% room battles uh, mission, uh, and I miss myself to the highest power. I submit myself to the highest power. Speaking of which, let me see. Sort this by stress, uh, and just make sure that everybody's getting their proper um, rights and all that. So let's go. Let's go in here. Uh, oh yeah, I forgot. I always am like, oh yeah, this is gonna be awesome, and then it's not because I need to do this first okay so I got four over there I got three over here I got one I got three you know what I just need two we don't have that many I just I don't need any that's that's what I'm gonna go with uh, and I'm gonna go with a, a couple of medicinal herbs and food must not forget the food never forget the food okay so I'm gonna take an extra four it's a lot of money that I spend on this thing um, but uh, it's important it's very important so yeah, basically over here is just a thousand, <laughs> just in food. Uh, so yeah, it's it's possible. I, I don't think I let's go. I don't think I addressed um, I addressed this before, but it's possible to screw yourself in this game and basically be in, at a point where uh, you know getting out of the of poverty the fiends must be driven back. is almost impossible. And what better place to begin than the seat of our noble line? Oh come on, that's bad. We have a room battle over there right off the bat. Hmm. But we gotta at least we gotta. We got a, um... Even the cold stone seems bent on preventing Nobody touch this. Oh. Freaking hell. Oh, stashed loot. That's really lucky. Uh, yeah. At least we got, uh, we got the scouting. Uh, but yeah, it's just possible to... If you... It's usually about 5,000. If you start not doing so well, uh, you, you, you can really get yourself into a, quite a lot of trouble. Uh, so yeah, th I'm just gonna try to focus on him. Stress is gonna be basically the long-term thing because we have two healers effectively. We actually have three healers. Well, they're not healers, healers, but you know what I mean. Uh, let's see, that's a high chance that I actually kill this guy. And Another I do. one falls. Fours indeed. And uh, I am gonna try and get you down. Because next up is gonna be well, she's not gonna attack. N uh, so yeah, that's right. I have to finish him. Oh, come on, that was a kill for sure. And of course he goes now. See, that's what you get. That's what you get, Anton. Krasilikov. Krasilnikov. Sorry, I didn't. It didn't fit the name. And that's why it had to be Anton K. Yep, Anton K. Okay, so that guy, I think he's dead. Yeah, he's definitely dead. Quarrel for Duhamel. Okay, it's fine by me. Uh, and then you need to die, sir. Thank you. Executed with impunity. Total. Total impunity. And then we just wait for them. Actually, we don't wait for them to die. But I am going to need to heal you. Because things are not too looking too good for you. Let's see what happens over here. Uh, okay, yeah, you got another dosage of that. And I think that's not enough. Let's see what happens. Ooh, nice. That's enough. <laughs> okay, going well. We're getting a lot of bloody things. A which is victory. good. Because you're a vampire, right? A victory, nonetheless. No, this is Zen. Oh, no, you're not a vampire. Uh, I'm just, I'm gonna carry the blood this time around. Um, I think we got, I don't know, that was a terrible, terrible, oh, I didn't, I didn't bring my, holy, I did bring my holy water, fantastic. It was a terrible, that first attempt at that mission that we did, that was a uh, terrible place. Okay, so, uh, let's go with a stun back there for both of them, hopefully, yes, indeed, it's just so salty, I, I get so salty when, <laughs> when they don't get stunned. But at least we don't take the stress things and all that, so start with the attacks. Not a kill, that's fine. Half its death, death uh, half, half its health is gone. Graveyard Slash for Loki, no, she's fine with that, minus five damage. Uh, I'm gonna try and stun you, and then I think it's gonna be fine with my... Oh, that was actually really lucky, wasn't it? That, was that really lucky? Be gone, fiend. Hmm, it's lovely having high level troops in, in low level missions. It's so good. Uh, okay, so Let's si try to stun you Because however this goes it's always gonna be good. There we go. That's good He resists the move and then a quarrel for Anton. There we go And uh, he's gonna need a little bit of a healing, but it's gonna be fine 
I think this guy's gone. Four. Yeah, he's gone. So let's get a heal with a critical. Very nice. Was that a maximum heal? That was a maximum heal with a critical. Very awesome. And now you take nine damage. I think that was minimum. That's fine. Keep an eye on the light, because that way... Great is the weapon that cuts on its own. How is that quest? What happened? That you got that buff. Hmm. Is it because of the light? Is that what it is? Press this Ooh. advantage. <laughs> no quarter. Good stuff. And now you kill him with another critical. <laughs> I just... That was good. That was good. Okay, now I can take Success. that. Mm. So clearly in view. That's not good. Or is it merely a or trick is of the it? light? Okay, so I think I can use... I don't... I'm not going to really risk it. I think I can do this. No, I can't. Okay, well, that's that. So you put that in there. Divine benefit. And she gets a bunch of good things. <sighs> that's a really good, uh, good curio right there. So we go back and hopefully this is going to go well. I think light level can come back up. Everything is awesome. Uh, this is 100% room battle, so I'm kind of, uh, I'm kind of gonna avoid that one or that one anyway. But you know what? That is not a good idea because this trap is effectively free because it's got 100% chance to. He gets free stress heal, and we don't have to mess with that guy because it's a long, a long mission. We don't need the loot anyway, and de definitely they don't give us any experience. Please don't nobody touch that. Thank you. Well, actually, we don't have Kleptomaniac, so it's, it's totally okay. We got our first hunger check. Okay. And we have another room battle. Yeah, I'm, I, I kind of plan on going in there, through here, just to get these two. There's three cur curious. Um, okay, so I think I'm going to start doing damage on you, because I don't really care for uh, stunning you right now. Uh, let's see. I might be able to kill you. Continually on <laughs> I definitely was able to kill you. Okay, so that guy needs four damage. Slice of dice. Okay, fine by me. They both resist the debuff. I believe it's minus dodge or something. And then you take a bunch of damage. That's the stu the bleed and the, the bleed and the stress. Yeah, nasty attack. Really nasty attack. Uh, he's not very unstunny, so I'm just gonna go with that. I never. I will apologize if, if this bothers any of you, but I've never gotten used to. Uh, I don't think it should bother any of you, but, you know, it's okay if it does. Um, and there's a reason why I don't think it should. But what I'm trying to say is um, I never actually learned how, or, you know, got used to using the 1 through 5 keys, or 1 through 4, really. Um, so that's why I'm saying I do apologize if that bothers you. I don't think it should, because this way you can see what I'm actually doing. <laughs> that's the reason I don't mean to sound uh, dismissive. Uh, so, yeah, just, I think it makes for a better show. Even though, you know, the show... Yeah, whatever. Uh, okay, so I'm also gonna try and heal you out of that terrible bleeding. Okay, and then you're gonna try and heal her out of that terrible stress. And there we go, pretty good. And that also brings up the light, which is really nice. And then you might as well go for a kill. Prodigious size alone does not dissuade does not. the sharpened blade. That's so good when it's just a monster that's terrible and hideous. And it's just, he just goes, prodigious size and all that. Okay, so we got that stuff. Three rounds. Okay, and we have a trap right up ahead. I wonder if I'm gonna be able to disarm it with somebody else. Uh, 100%, 70%. I think I could do that. 70% back here? You know what? I think I can do this. Uh, well, actually, I can't, because... I don't have room. Okay, well, you do that then. He kind of... He can use the stress heal anyway. Uh, I like to st spread the stress heals as much as possible. But there we go. We got a, another unsalvaged torch. Or whatever. And we have an empty room. But we do have a battle over there. Hopefully it's just little spiders. Okay, what do we have? Please not any... Ooh, we got a secret room once again. So this time around I'm going to try and keep a skeleton key. Because I missed... That was I think that was my fault before. That I really completely forgot about the skeleton key. Uh, about Yeah, basically about the keys. Uh, so let's see if I can... Well struck. And she likes that. Become as dust, she says. Okay, that's probably going to reduce our dodge. Indeed it does. Actually, it's bleed resist. Oh, blanket fire. Nah, that wasn't too bad. And that's the debuff for... Yeah, that's the one for dodge. And another blanket fire. It's going to be really tricky. Okay. The will to fight. Ooh, that's bad. Please don't make anybody bleed. I don't... I think it's a separate attack. Right? 
Let's see if I, if I can do something over here. Yeah, he's taking a lot of damage, and I do not enjoy that. So let's try and... Oh, four. I mean, yeah, well, that was a minimum one. Uh, let's uh, kill you. As the go. Fiend falls, and then only one of them is really blossoms. capable of, of making us bleed. I am going to stun you guys back here. If that's all right with you, just, you know, to milk my uh, my st my uh, my thing. That's my strategy usually with those guys. And I'm going to try and stun you so you shut up. Thank you for coming to the front. And then hopefully I'm going to get a nice critical 12 heal over there. Uh, then you don't kill him. Unfortunate. The finish him would work. And he's a little bit... He's a little bit... Uh, no, he yeah, he still needs to go this turn. Can you believe it that the original version of the game didn't have these things? I think actually the original release of the game didn't have these things to tell you Slowly, who was going out and gently. who wasn't. This is how a life is taken. Of course, some people really complained about that, and I think that, that does improve the game. The slow but it was interesting unforeseen. that you uh, had to really pay attention. Really, really pay attention. Okay, let's get those two. And I'll mess with that. Actually, she should be capable of doing something good over here. Right? No, an accident occurs. And she gets blighted. For a bunch. Speaking of which, we have that stupid thing over there. That was bad. Uh, yeah. Just go for the torches. Um, so we came here simply because of... Uh, no, I don't have any medicinal things. Simply because of those two curios that we never really did use. Look at how brilliant everything is. Well, we got... Did we get anything interesting? In terms of loot and all that? Maybe. Did I? I didn't notice. Well, we got this one and a little bit of money. Yeah, well... I don't want to pay for the food, I guess. Uh, what do we have over here? A crate is empty. Or the crate is empty. Fine by me. Oh, and look at the time. Sorry. Like, going a little bit a little bit overboard. I hope it's fine with you. But I'm going to make a cut here in the episode. So do join me for the next one. But for right now, I'm Colonel RPG. And this has been Darkest Dungeon. I really hope you've enjoyed it. And if you did, go ahead and leave a comment. Like the video if you want to see the next episode come out sooner rather than later. But above all, as always, thank you so much for watching. And I hope I'll see you next episode. Bye-bye.